Hello, Taurus, and welcome to Spiritual Wellness Tarot. I thank you for stopping by. Today's reading is going to be what is going to happen in the next 48 hours. We have messages from your spirit guides. Spirit guides, what's going to happen to Taurus, or what does Taurus need to know for the next 48 hours? All right, angels and spirit guides, what does Taurus need to know for the next 48 hours? Now, Taurus, remember to go ahead and watch your sun, moon, and rising sign so you can go ahead and get that overall energy. And for those of you who are new here, I am a psychic medium here on YouTube, and I use my psychic gifts to help encourage you to get the insights to your present future. All right. Well, we've got two, so let's go with two. We've got... All right, so let's get started here, Taurus. So your first card is, I am exactly where I need to be. You are ready to allow the energy from the divine and Mother Earth to fuel you as you fulfill your potential here. So feel empowered, right? This is empowering. I am exactly where I need to be, right? And, I'll, you know, sometimes you can feel that you don't want to be in a certain place. Like maybe you don't want to be at a dinner party of your bosses, right? Or you don't want to be um, sitting at your nephew's baseball game, right? But you said you were going to do that. Well, realize that, that you need to fulfill your commitments that you make, but focus on yourself also, right? Focus where you need to be because you are exactly where you need to be right now. And this is actually the heart chakra all about giving, loving, and receiving. So it might be the next couple of days that you are the recipient of something, right? Maybe somebody's going to give you something. Maybe you'll get a check in the mail. Um, and then on the other hand, it might be that it's time for you to clean out your closet, time for you to get rid of those old shoes, time for you to get rid of those bell-bottom pants, right, that you haven't worn for 20, 30 years. Maybe it's time for that. Because um, when we clear out the old, it leaves room for the in, for the new. All right, our next card is I Attract Abundance. Woohoo! Yeah, Taurus. All right. Feel the joy you would have once you have reached your goals here and now. You will achieve your dreams fastest that way. So a lot of times we think there's not enough to pay our cable bill. There's not enough to put, good Lord have mercy, gas in our car right now, right? I'm like, holy crap, it costs us like 80 bucks to fill up my little car. And so it's like, you know what? We can't focus on that. Like my husband says, well, we just need to make more. And that's true. That's the attitude we need to have. You know what? It is expensive right now. Gas is stupidly expensive. Here in Vegas, it's about five fifty a gallon, right? It's like stupidly ridiculous. But realize that abundance is coming. You can attract abundance. You can go ahead and move forward. You can start a side hustle, right? Um, and abundance doesn't necessarily have to mean um, money, right? Abundance could be abundance of love, right? I have an abundance of love for my husband, right? So what is what does abundance mean to you? I'd love to hear in the comments below, mark down below, what does abundance mean to you? Or where would you like in your life some abundance? All right, let's see what else we have. We've got self-reflection. Honor your progress. Remember that, that life is constantly progressing. Sometimes we step backwards, right? Sometimes we step backwards and it's not good. But realize that we, as long as we keep progressing forward, if we take three steps forward and one step back, we're still moving forward, right? So realize that, you know, attract that abundance. You are exactly where you need to be. Then we have um, nature is calling. Reconnect with nature. Refresh your senses. Honor the season. See how she's got her butterflies and her dragonflies around here? She's got the, the um, I think these are called conch shells, um, birds. She's got animals. She's out in nature. She's enjoying nature. She's being by herself, right? She's just enjoying. She's feeling empowered. She's got all the, the flying animals around here, right? She is ready for that good fortune. She is ready to attract abundance. And she knows that she is exactly where she needs to be. Beautiful. Whoa, we don't need all those cards. Beautiful, beautiful um, card, right? And it's just good for you to remember to have that self-reflection, right? 
feel that empowerment, feel that good fortune coming your way. We've got the Empress, beautiful, right? Abundance, creation, um, could be fertility if you're looking to go ahead and get pregnant. Could This could be the card for you. Um, you know, if, that, if that's what you're looking for. Also, it could be, you know, you're, you're getting a new job maybe, right? You're um, nurturing life. You're nurturing what you need to go ahead and um, move forward in. The world. I love it, Taurus. I just love it, right? All about being completed. All about recognition, success, fulfillment, celebration. Beautiful. And we'll take those two as we um as we get more in tune to ourselves and more empowered right we realize that we can be successful we can have fulfillment of what it is that we need to have in our life then we have the lovers now the lovers isn't necessarily about love right although it is you've got two lovers here and if you're looking for love this is a great card to go ahead and have come out right because the lovers is about partnership right it's about trust it's about choice right so you have a choice of what you of what you're going to do just like you know up here you have a choice of being in a place or not now if it's a if it's a party that you don't want to be at but you're there supporting your spouse then that's okay right because that means you're giving and taking right that is balance so sometimes we have to do things that we don't really want to do, but it's the way you react, right? So if you went to a party with your spouse, it's, your, it's their business party, right? You don't know a soul there and he's having a great time or she's having a great time. And all I can say is the best thing to do is be happy for them. You're there, right? You might meet some new people, who knows, right? Life might be good. But don't be angry with them. Don't sit in the corner and sulk and drink your drink your woes away, right? Be happy for them. Go enjoy them. Go up and talk with the partners that they're talking to, right? With the trust them, trust their choices. And then we have the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is good health, new babies, right? And we've got the Empress. So those of you who are looking to get to get pregnant, it could be it was in the next 48 hours. It could be the time for you to go ahead and get pregnant. I think it's interesting that you have the Empress, which is about fertility, and you have the Ace of Cups, which is about fertility also, right? So um, also good health. This is beautiful. This is wonderful, right? And so you are at a place in your life where you should be. You just need to go ahead and accept it, be aware of what's going on, and learn from what's going on. It's up to you. I love it, right? It is. It's it's totally up to you. It's time for you to take action. Oh, it's time for you to go ahead and take action. Time for you to move forward. All right, Taurus, let's get one more here. Let go. All right. Let go of what is not serving you. Let go of the feelings, the negative feelings, so you can feel empowered. You can have good fortune, right? You can go ahead and move forward. I love this reading for you, Taurus. Until next time, I love you all. Namaste.